Hey everyone, uh, today I want to talk about the new dredge mechanic. Uh, for those who don't know, what does dredge do? It's look at the bottom of three cards of your deck, put one on top. Uh, so it's tutoring, it's also kind of getting the cards that you might not be able to see uh, and be able to tutor. Uh, so it has a lot of, now on its own, not that powerful, but when combined with other things, it can be just make a card that 10, 15% stronger that makes it kind of go from a okay card to a very powerful card. Uh, so that's what I like about it. Um, so uh, I think it's going to be just, it's just a really useful idea. Um, and I think it also has sort of that natural synergy with um, uh, uh, like if you have a, a card that really has a powerful card or if you just, you know, Let's say you want you play a two mana card and you want a three mana card for next turn. You can you can get that, and so you can have that reliability of not having that crappy draw uh, as much. So uh, we'll go for the first one. This is a simple one. Uh, Battle Kai Dredge. It's if it's a mech, draw it. Um, so you ideally use this uh, in a now if you're just not running mechs, unless you have a one card win the game card. Uh, you know, uh, a card your whole deck is built around, which you could run it just for that. Uh, I think this is not going to be very good, but let's say you have, you know, 10 mechs in your deck. If you do this, you're probably going to get a mech. I don't know. I, I haven't done the math. I'm going to guess about 60, 70% of the time. Uh, that's a free draw, a two mana, three, two draw and tutor is insane. So, um, you know, in the right deck, this card's insane. Uh, so let's keep going. We, I already talked about love this card in my um in my uh my colossal minion but you can see you get to uh you get to uh <clears throat> you get to dredge you get to tutor and then you go leviathan claw and you get the draw so you can use that to tutor our car card and get it um same th now this one um this card is insane battle cry dredge if it's a minion give this minion uh, attack and health. So if you're able to get a big minion, uh, now the, the counter is like, okay, if you get an 8-8, it's an 8-8 card, but like, let's say you're running Kazakhstan in your deck, you play this, 10-10, that, that auto wins the game on turn two. So, uh, I mean, this card is absolutely insane. Uh, four stars, you know, I know I'm not really doing the stars, but you can see Dredge, like I said, when combined with some other element can be very, very strong. This, you get the tutor card, uh, and you have the potential of huge, huge high rolls, um, which is absolutely insane. So next we have Aquatic Form, and this card's hard to evaluate in the next meta, but I know just this card, just because of its synergy with Owl, uh, its synergy with uh, s sort of just being able to play spells um, for Druid and being a zero mana card would be an auto include in so many Druid decks. Uh, I think this card's really just because it's zero mana. The fact you could you can get a card that you can play that turn and draw it immediately. Uh, so you can use draw moonlit guidance. Uh, so you know there'll be art to when to time when to play this, but I think uh, this effect is really really cool. And you can maybe just tutor out like you know you need an overgrowth. You play this, <coughs> you get the overgrowth. <coughs> all of a sudden you're chilling. So um, <coughs> sorry about that. So just like I said, these effects, uh, being able to tutor uh, for a deck that, you know, wants to hit ramp or wants to hit, you know, their glow fly swarm. Now, like I said, we don't know what the next expansion will hold, but I think this card's very, very strong. Um, next, uh, we kind of have some boring neutral ones. Battlecry Dredge reduces cost by one uh, and Battlecry Dredge just in general. I don't think uh, these cards see much play on their own just for the synergy so this i could see being running in a, in a pirate deck more for its pirate synergy and you know this being run if maybe you get some some big dread synergy but uh still same kind of effect uh we have this shaman one deal two damage dredge so uh and like what i like about this is like let's say you know if you're playing a shaman deck you run out of value a lot well often shaman like either drawing your snowfall guardian or drawing your your multicast are really important so you can play this and then you can consistently 
uh, more consistently draw your multicaster or your bird or your snowfall guardian. Uh, so I think I'm not exa- and you know this can go face. So maybe you take out lightning bolt, you put this in. I'm not sure, uh, but it's it's a you know dealing two damage historically for one is has been good enough. And on top of it, uh, having that dredge and that fire synergy for that multicaster really really strong. Um, and then finally, uh, this one I don't really know what to make of it. Uh, you know, Battle Guy Dredge, if it's a Murloc, changes cost of health and mana. You know, the obvious high rolls, you hit Muninus or something like that. But uh, I, I don't know how many, what Murloc, Warlock. It's hard for me to imagine Murloc, Warlock. Um, so I don't really think this card's that strong. But, you know, maybe you find the right Murloc, the right, right broken thing. Uh, maybe somebody can find the, the synergy. Uh, this is like a really a deck building sort of testing deck card. Uh, but, you know, maybe there's some potential there. So uh, I think the, the, the cards that impressed me the most, uh, the Scaling Geyser, Geyser, Aquatic Form, and the, the Seaforth Savior, all which I think are really, really strong cards um, and uh, fit really naturally into established archetypes and new archetypes. So uh, really, really strong stuff. So... Bottom line is I think this dredge mechanic is going to change the game. And there's also even little ways like, well, if my opponent went dredge, um, I might think, okay, what, what are they going to get? What, what, all of a sudden their hand isn't as random because they have that the, the fact that they're tutoring out something. So the, the card they top deck is going to be a much better card on average than just a random top deck. So you might be have a hand reading like, oh, if I'm playing against a control deck and I'm getting ahead of board, and they play this dredge, they might be searching for a board clear. So... What board clear might they search for? Can I play around that? Can I go a cold neo? If I can, I do something along those lines to sort of kind of play with the knowledge that they're probably going to draw a good card next turn. So I think there's a lot of interesting stuff. Uh, tomorrow is the big final reveal, so we'll probably see a lot more dredge cards, maybe some big dredge synergies. I'm really excited, but I just wanted to talk about this mechanic. I think it's really interesting and it's subtle. Uh, so I think it, it's it's got a lot of potential. So to, to uh sort of spice things up so anyways hope you guys like the, this sort of mechanic content uh yeah and i might do a few more just things you know once the all the cards are revealed uh i will be doing a theory craft uh stream tuesday night with or sort of a a card review tuesday night with monsanto so uh feel free to tune into that if you're interested in hearing our opinions on the overall strength of cards so see you guys then